Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank all of you for being here and before us today. Uh, I, I, first of all, I was going to take a, take a moment to thank all of the uh, the uh, veteran affairs employees that we have in our state and that you have around the country because they have been stalwarts. They've been on the front line there and they've done a great job. They really have. Uh, my concern has been, and I think uh, Secretary Wilkie, you and I spoke about this, the testing. Veterans are having a hard time. They're confused about the testing. They're told they have to pay for it, and they're having uh, that's been pre, you know for pre-approved and going through all the red tape. Have you been able, Dr. Stone, maybe to work through that to, to, that, that clarifies this for them to make sure that our veterans can get tested if needed? Sir, I, I appreciate your advocacy for this, and, and you and I have talked about it. And um, where, where we're having trouble is this drive-through <clears throat> testing. Drive -through and when the drive-through testing is being done by somebody not enrolled in our system is where we're having trouble with it. Uh, what we would like to get and what we've reached out to do is try and look at every drive-through testing, uh, any place we can find it, and try to enroll those healthcare systems in this. Unfortunately, some of them something are being- something we can do to help you? Is there anything that we can do legislatively or something through our office officially to help you? Yeah, I, I think that, that we will work with your staff on it. Uh, right now, community care believed that they were well on their way to working their way through this to make sure that there was no bill sent out to any veteran. And I can reassure you that within our system, there has been no bill sent out for COVID testing. And if there is, we'll reconcile it. Okay. Well, also, I th and, and Chair, Mr. Chairman, you said that the PPE, uh, we're going to be doing that next week? I'm, I'm sorry, yes. The PPE, because I know we, we've put near $20 billion in that in order to train, so we're going to get accounting. No use for me to ask that question if you're going to get back into that next week. We will. Okay. Sir and uh, Dr. Stone, I'm, I'm on, on the VA at, in Clarksburg, two years. Uh, if the rumors going around now are just unbelievable in, our, in the local circles about even the person of interest maybe still working or being employed or coming back as a contractor, have you been? Sir, I can, I can reassure you as of a discussion yesterday, You've that is that, absolutely right? untrue. Well, I think it is, too. It's a vicious rumor going around that's hurting an awful lot of families. But the most important thing is in two years, do you see any end in sight? Sir, that, the answer to that question has to be done by the IG and the Justice Department. Uh, Senator, I've expressed uh, my frustration with this. Um, you and I talked, and Senator Capito was on the phone. This investigation began before I was secretary. Right. And that is, that is a disservice to the people of West Virginia. Uh, this is it's, it's just, I can't explain it. I mean, can you can imagine what the families are going through. Why would you put anybody through this? And I know you're not intentionally. I know that, uh, Secretary Wilkie, you, you, you couldn't believe either uh, the insensitivity of what's going on. But we've got to get an answer. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to, uh, I think, to uh, Attorney General Barr. I've got to go to Attorney General Barr. And I've gone there before, but now it's, it's virgin now, two years. And now with these rumors starting to creep up, you understand the whole, uh, the whole uncertainty of what's going on and, and these people they, being left in limbo like that. It's just... Sir, sure, this is a disservice to every veteran uh, in that community. And as you know, this is a small community uh, that uh, these employees have done a great job of cooperating every step of the way. And uh, we look forward to resolution of this. Anything you do to help us, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.